Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 711. Not the store, episode 711. <laughs> and the topic today is build the wall, not the way to build or have healthy boundaries in relationships. I have healthy relationship boundaries. You got what I mean. I'll explain in a minute, but I just do that title for the fun of it. Um, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine. I'm also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Whew. Because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, as already mentioned. Um, that also led to these talks I've done every day now for over two, well, I've done this for over two years, done them every day for about two years now, called, called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today we're at episode 711. And the question about boundaries came up recently, so I thought I'd share about that. And of course, boundaries for a lot of people is like a wall. So I have to do build the wall because it's too easy because it's in the news. But I'll break this down in more um, humane and human terms. So this is about boundaries in case you didn't know what that was. It wasn't the title. But I want to teach you some idea, oh, excuse me. I want to inspire you, that's a better way of putting it, with some ideas that may help you have much healthier relationship framing with every relationship, including family. Because that's why one of the most challenging boundaries or lack of boundaries shows up because this is romantic relationships yes but extends far beyond that all right enough preamble let's dive in shall we um by the way if you haven't seen my broadcast before this is done every day on facebook live at 5 p.m pacific time i give all the information about when you find me usually and also the replays at the end of the broadcast so if you're watching on youtube this was on facebook first that's the way it is so again boundaries and not walls How do I approach this best? Hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Or well, let me say that this, let me introduce it this way. I'm gonna ask you some questions you don't, don't have to answer on screen. You can just sit with them for yourself so you don't have to be public about it. But have you experienced where, whenever you have family came over, like your mother or your father, whatever they said goes or went. Like they'd say, they say something, you'd respond, you'd, you'd, you'd do something, or alternatively, if they said something, you get very reactive to that and you get upset. You can answer yes or no to those two questions. Second, second question, in your love relationships, have you found at times where your partner would say or do something that would actually have you become so reactive you didn't know what happened? Or on the other side of things, would you feel so re reactive that you would shut them down? All of these things I'm talking about, if you said yes to any of them, are indication where your boundaries are not as good as they could be. And now I need to explain what boundaries are. They're not walls, as I mentioned, you know, build the wall, no, not that. What a boundary is, is a, well, simply put, in a way, it's a demarcation line between you and everybody else. It sounds simplistic, I know. But for many people out there, the line or the border, the boundary, the demarcation, so to speak, between them and somebody else is very fuzzy, which means that they get very enmeshed in other people in mesh meaning emotionally and mentally and so their ability to have autonomy over what they're thinking is minimalized now part of this is family dynamic born i should say it comes from family dynamics especially where especially as children of, of parents who had maybe um overtly um what's we're looking for strong views very verbally loud your boundaries may have been battered down when you were a kid and never got rebuilt. So you become very reactive and very defensive when something happened around you from other people. Not even your parents anymore. It may have started with your parents, but as you get older, it might have happened with an employee or an employer or a roommate or a love relationship or any one of a number of people who do something that basically sets you off again. That's partly because your boundaries aren't actually in place anymore. They've been demolished. The thing about boundaries are they're not, <coughs> excuse me, the thing about boundaries, they're not walls. I intentionally put wall in the title because some people think of boundaries like put up a wall so you can't be seen and you're impervious. Not necessarily. A boundary is a place where you say no. And in some ways it's that simple. Where when somebody says something, wants to do something, or somehow invades your space, and you know where it is because you know where the boundary is, you go, no, that's not appropriate. And you basically keep yourself protected in a way but also in autonomy and owning your own space and being an individual. Because the thing is, in relationships especially, a lot of people forget to be individuals. They become a clump in the couple, a couple clump, something like that. 
But basically what happens is they don't have a light, don't, they don't know where they end and where their partner begins or vice versa. That is the trap that many, many people fall into because that's the way it's supposed to be according to what all the love songs and books seem to teach people. I disagree completely. If you're watching my broadcast, you know I'm very adamant about codependence versus interdependence and independence and all the dependencies and independencies. This is, this is. So this is another part of that as a simple reminder is boundaries because every one of us, and I say every one of us, has room to adjust our boundaries to improve our connection with other people because you can use your boundaries to create healthier relationships with other people. You can also soften your boundaries to be more reachable by other people too. If you've got such thick boundaries, you can't get through them because some people on the other end of the spectrum, so to speak, have such entrenched and thick boundaries, like a big wall, for example, because they've been so hurt when they were younger, they put so many walls up they can't be reached, that the boundaries are impervious, in which case you can't connect and people can't connect with you very well. And I'm not saying, just to be clear, you take down that wall completely because then there's no defense whatsoever because it's not about, well, excuse me, defense is an interesting word. There's no boundary framework in place because what's happened, you let your wall be demolished and that isn't healthy either. So a boundary is something I would say is more like a flexible fence if you want to use a physical um, explanation. Because a boundary has room to move, but it's also very clear it can be very much set in place. And so it's something that we all need to have in all our relationships, not just romantic, but also in family dynamic. well, actually especially in family dynamics, because so many people in family dynamics forget that they have autonomy. Going home for Thanksgiving, for example, for the American audience who are watching this, sometimes it's almost like going home and stripping away your protections because you're going home back to the family where parents still run the show and you feel like a five-year-old. That's an indication your boundaries aren't there or you left them in the car before you got in the house, that sort of thing. So having healthy boundaries is a powerful place to live your life in a place that is clean, that is connected, that is authentic when you know how to have boundaries that work for you and also work with other people. Take a little practice, I know. I've been working on that myself. There are certain people I have great boundaries with, some people not so much, and that's just my, that's my own journey. I'm still in the process. But part of that process of building boundaries, or I should say um, part of that process of having boundaries is first of all to remember that whatever happened to you by other people doesn't mean you can't have boundaries. Because some people, they've been so invaded by other people's energy, either as a kid when, with adults, or maybe they were wounded some way emotionally in a relationship, or even physically, you may feel you never have boundaries again because you've been so um, pummeled and, and, and driven over sort of thing, run over basically. Whereas boundaries that are healthy and you can regrow boundaries or rebuild boundaries, that's totally fine. And they can be stronger than they were before. In some ways, actually, when your boundaries have been violated, they've been pushed through, they don't get weaker, they actually get stronger. Because you realize now that, in fact, what, you had, what happened the last time showed your boundaries weren't strong enough, you can rebuild them in a new way. And I don't mean this physically, I mean this energetically, of course, just to be clear. So boundaries as a piece of human personality are vital for allowing you to have autonomy and individuality in life. Independence, as I mentioned, those dependency things. It also means when you're in a relationship, you can have a place where you can say no very clearly. And you're also clear enough that you can say yes as well, because it's that discernment and that permission that you now have control over. Because if you're in a place where you don't have any permission, that's another indication your boundaries are too weak. Because permission is something you have ownership of, so you can say yes or no as you choose, not because somebody else chooses it. Again, other people having cho choice or volition or roles over you where you don't have any freedom to choose for yourself, that's where your boundaries are non-existent or minimal at most. This is like a crash course on, on boundaries and I'm giving you just some, some tips and keys, but the reality is there's a lot more to it than this. Um, part of that boundary restructuring, that boundary recreation, is to actually start to learn how to bring yourself to a self-centric, not self-centered, but self-centric perspective so that you recognize who you are and you raise your own, your own level of self-esteem, self-respect, self-appreciation and courage to really own your own space. Because when you own your own space, that defines your boundaries. Kind of simple in a way. But for many people, they're so caught up in what other people say about them or what they believe compared with other people or they compare themselves unfavorably with other people. All these different traps you fall into are 
um, what I want to say, <laughs> well, they're gaping holes in your boundaries. When you have that place where you don't come home to yourself, respect yourself, and appreciate yourself, even when stuff happens, it's an indication where your boundaries are not strong. And I'm aware in my life, I've had experiences where I've gone through that, where I let my boundaries down and I paid the price. And I think you'll know if you've found the pay, if you paid the price yourself, where you felt the pain, the wounding, the emotional upset, because somebody said something, somebody you trusted or, or thought you trusted and they violated that trust, those sort of things are indications where your wall of, or your boundary, sorry, I watch Game of Thrones, so my mind's on that right now, um, where, you, <laughs> where you have, your boundary is weakened. But when you have a boundary that's healthy, that's strong, and you have a clear um, sense of who you are and where your delineation between you and somebody else is, that's where you can have healthy connection, healthy, communica healthy communication, and healthy intimacy with other people. Yeah, intimacy actually involves healthy boundaries. And some people are going to argue with me who are very sexually oriented, saying, no, 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 no. You take your boundaries down to have total intimacy. I disagree. Because intimacy requires you to be in your own body. It's connected to who you are so you can function effectively. Anyway, that's a side. I'm digressing, so let me get back on track. Boundaries are healthy places to um, to grow, to reestablish, to create in all your relationships. And generally speaking, if you work on the ones that are the most challenging to you, that applies to every one other. So, so you don't have to do what, I, you don't, what I'm saying is you don't have to build new boundaries with every single person out there. That will take a long time. But when you rebuild a boundary with the most challenging person you have in your life, who basically has been trampling your boundaries up to this point, when you rebuild your boundaries and they can no longer come straight through them, and you can say no, and they listen, for example, then you know your boundaries are strong for everybody. Then it becomes a matter of tuning and playing with them once you have them there. But frankly, for all the people, they don't have any to start with. So this is a, this is a step one in the process of rebuilding. Boundaries are important in a lot of things that happen in the world, in a lot of things that happen in your life, and a lot of things that happen in your way of being. And frankly, if you don't have healthy boundaries, you're going to pay the price. And if you haven't already paid the price, you will pay the price. So I'm telling you now that healthy boundaries are vital, um, especially if you're in next relationship, if you're single. And on that note, a couple of quick plugs, because I like doing this sort of thing. Um, if you want to find out more about how I can help you with that, I'll leave a link in the comments. You can actually reach out and reach out for a discovery session with me. Um, so I'll put a link in there for this very quick um, chat. And secondly, because I did talk a lot about coming back to yourself and rebuilding your self-esteem, self-support, and self-approval so you can actually have healthy boundaries, my Coming Home to Yourself group program that's launching is absolutely, fundamentally designed to help you with this. Boundaries aren't part of the conversation in that course, but the side effect is your healthy boundaries. So it kind of fits. So I'll put a link in the comments for that as well so you can check it out. Um, I think that's really about it. I wanted to just plant the seed because a lot of the stuff I'm talking about are broad strokes. So there's a lot more detail to this. So if you have any questions or you, have, you want some more information, either message me over social media or put something in below, you know, type in below and let me know what you're thinking. If there's any questions about this, I can help you with that. Um, and again, the links I'll put in the comments, you can check it out. This is a big part of how to healthy life, have healthy relationships, especially with siblings and parents and primary relationships because they're the most intimate connections. Um, and if you don't know what they are, it's time to start looking into how to build your own boundaries. This is, again, my Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays are on my business page on Facebook and on YouTube. On Facebook, dot, Facebook you can find my business page at barryselby.author. And on my, business, my, excuse me, on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby also, or my social media is Barry Selby besides my business page, you can find my uh, channel there and please subscribe and there's a playlist called messages from the masculine where all of these live from 711 all the way back to number one yes all of them are out there um if you have any questions again please let me know and i hope this has been of use to you because boundaries are vital no walls just boundaries and i wish you well with understanding what it is and figuring it out for yourself again you can reach out to me if you need some help and i thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow bye